Now the basic skeleton of the cable assembly has been defined, we need to specify which connector types are needed. Click on a connector and click connector. The connector screen is now loaded. Connector type switch, standard, coax or custom. At the top left of the screen there is a three position switch. This changes the connector selection screen for different types of connectors. Standard. These are standard single or multipole connectors. Coax. Coaxial connectors for RF cables. This section will be improved upon in the next release. Custom. This section lets you define custom connectors for situations where a connector is required which Pickering don't currently hold in stock. Name your connector. Number of pins, for example 9. Gender, male or female. A web link. A place for a link to a manufacturer's datasheet, web page or supplier's product page. A description. Any other information, for example a manufacturer part number. Connector graphic editor. This is really for in-house use only, so please use the default graphic. Click create the custom connector to create the connector. Enabling and working with filters. Back in the standard screen, filters can be used in helping to find the desired connector. Click filters to display the filters, if they're not already displayed. Click display or hide. This enables or disables filters. Not all filters are displayed by default. By clicking on a filter, this limits the list at the bottom of the screen. More filters can be used at once and also multiple values within a filter can be selected at the same time. Sorting columns. Columns in the list of connectors can be sorted. The first time a column is clicked, items are sorted in ascending order. A second click produces a descending order. When the desired connector has been found, click on it. You'll be returned to the main screen and the connector graphic will be shown.